Hello and welcome to episode 3 of U Squad Legends Series 6 with Burton Albion on FIFA 15. Now this thing's going to be a little bit different. Yes, I have a face cam and I'm doing it live streaming on Twitch because it's a pre-season uh, episode. Which, uh, if you remember from the York City Series, we did it from that. Uh, every single pre-season was live streamed. A couple of January, tra January transfer windows were live streamed as well, but... Not a lot. Um, but the uh, summer transfer windows really caught on. And I think people enjoyed it a lot more when we live streamed it. So they, they're staying. So, um, yeah. That's basically yeah. it. Um, we've got people in the Skype call as well. So it's not just me. Uh, we've got Castboy. So. Who's uh, basically a legend and is with us every single live stream. Mm. And uh, he's going to be basically answering everybody in the chat, in the if Twitch chat. chat, and uh, fortunately we've got Stuart at a good time, because Stu's here as well, you alright? Hey up pal. Ah, good, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very good, I'm very excited to see what we actually find in like this uh, free agents list. Really? Well, I can see. So, uh, without further ado, before I go into the free agents list, I'm going to put the scouts to uh, scout, basically, yeah, that's <laughs> scout, scout to scout. Do your job, boys. <laughs> Precisely. That's basically what he's standing out the scouts to do. Their job. Alright, so I only have a budget of 8,000 now, so... If we change no, this... Now everyone's gone back through all the wire sales and clicking on the ads. Uh, well, uh, I, I haven't asked them to, but I'm not going to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> right. God, look at your funds, man. What do you mean? You've had My a fun goal. They're not that great. They're not oh, great. Don't, you say, don't you say anything. They're, right. If you haven't seen, Stu's doing a similar series <laughs> with Cambridge United, and he's moaning, even though I had even worse problems with York City. So he needs to man up and shut the fuck up. <laughs> God damn. Don't know what you're talking about. I think I do know what I'm that talking didn't about. Okay, so that didn't happen. <laughs> okay, so now we're on the free agents. We're going to try and find a couple of free agents to, like... Oh my god. Lads, Elvis a pal. <laughs> I am not joking. Elvis a pal. He's shit. Oh my god. You need to sign players' names that are funny just from. Elvis a pal. <laughs> I mean. Elvis a pal. I think, we, I think we're just done. Look at his ears. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even check his ears, man. Uh, don't sign him. Oh, actually, fight. yo, we've actually got. Oh no, he's a five. Oh, he, he looks so good as well, and he's five foot fucking eight centre back. What is that? Oh, forgot, don't <laughs> sign him, Cutsy. Just don't sign him. Sign him for lol. Oh, don't sign him. He's gonna fly away <laughs> if you do. <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do we have a left back? I don't think we do. Luis Neri Barrien Barrientos. Bar Barrien... No, it's not even that. Bar Barretos. 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 Interesting. Yeah, I, uh, I've killed some of my play names, man, by the way. Killed it. Man, no, you just, just killed it. Yeah, yeah honestly. Um... Pedro Zog's not a regen. Pedro Zog's a real player. Who? Pedro Zog. I've, I've not even I've not even had a look at him. He's a, he's a free agents legend, but basically he's he's like he was. I think when he yeah yeah yeah, was, but obviously I, I didn't have a look at him. Yeah, when he's really he's a free. I know he's a proper player. Mm. I know. I've, I've, I've completely lost what lost track of where I actually were. <clears throat> must have been it. Must have been this kid. Oh, this this is this is. Oh fuck! 
This is showing signs similar. Is this guy Bolivian? No, yeah, mate, he is, him. isn't it? It has to be. This guy him. has to be the same. He has to be in the same league as Chavez. <laughs> Marvin Cardozo. Not too sure, lads. <laughs> I don't really want another Chavez on my hands. Don't go for him. I'm gonna say don't. I I, I don't think I am anyway. No. no. Just 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 walk away. Just say no. <laughs> I mean we've had we've had, experience, we've, we've had experiences with Bolivian players in the past. We don't want experiences like that. Again. <laughs> we want your verse. We want your verse. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Stu wants your face then. Stu wants your face. <laughs> <laughs> Cutsy stereotyping Bolivians. <laughs> In what way? Well, how is that stereotyping Bolivians? <laughs> I just, I just, it just really think. Yeah, that's that's gonna be. Cutsy stereotyping Bolivians. Oh, all Bolivians are Chavez. In what way? He's a striker, and he's like in the third year of a, a save. And Chavez mm. was a striker in the third year of the save. I mean, I've, I, there's a good, there's a good sent, there's a good holding midfielder here. <laughs> he's a five foot seven, so he couldn't do a job at the back for us. Hello. Why is another centre mid? Why are they all centre mids who are sick? It's funny you, say, you should say that, because in mine, I am crying out for decent centre mids. How are you crying out? Look at this player. What, Vaz Gabral, whatever he's called. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. I've, I am, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to sign him. I can't sign him. It's too much. So, we're in another predicament here. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy... I think they were the Egyptian that I wanted. Ali Azat. So I want mm -hmm. this guy. And uh, actually, that's a lot of money as well, man. They are quite no, expensive. No, I'm sticking, I'm sticking to the idea. What Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy Ali Azat. And then I'm going to sell the guy that I bought. Uh, sorry, the guy that I promoted from a youth team but didn't get a face. I'm going to sell him because it's like... Confusing it, the hell out of It just you. feels weird. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? New rule. New rule. He hasn't he got a face. He needs to have a fucking academy. face. God damn. Sell him. No matter how good he is. I mean, look. Why? Why Why haven't you got a face? <laughs> he, he, just, he had such an ugly face that he didn't want to pose. It's like, no, I'd rather have a blank. I'd rather have that Twitter egg as my avatar. Fucking, yeah. Yeah, guys. Before I forget, uh, I actually need to put him on sale. Player picture day. <laughs> Can't remember his name. By Fletcher. By Fletcher. Hell quits. That's it. That's the that's the guy's name. Uh, Add to transfer list. If we can get about 400,000 for him, that would be nice. He's a 64, 17 year old. He's definitely got potential to be at least a decent like championship player. <clears throat> Yay. Some, uh, some free agents coming down here, which I haven't even seen. Maybe he no has from box. Italy. Right, there's a contract offer accepted here for Ali Azat. That's the first signing in, which is great news. But, kind of want to see what's happening in Italy. Because this guy is coughing up free agents here, there, and everywhere. From what I saw, anyway. 
I got a final scouting report on Antonio Marconi. He was a centre forward at overall 68. Very, very good player there. But he's 5 for 8, so he's a bit short. Uh, hello. Who are you? A centre back. George Lucero. He's only 5'10, but 5'10 five, five, is decent enough. Just, just scraping it. That's my limit of a centre bike. Five ten is like the shortest that it could be. My limit is just six foot up. Not even a five eleven. Five eleven so close, no. man. I don't know why. Just not five eleven. I cannot sign a centre back unless he's six foot plus. Oh look! Oh, oh, guys, just watch this. Frederico Emanuelo. Right back, if only we had the fucking funds to purchase this guy. Already he looks special. Gr showing great potential. Don't know what that means, but go on. You can. You guys can tell me what that means. It, it, it means good. <laughs> That's well, hard obviously. Well, obviously. Six foot one right back. Six right, quick. yeah. Six foot one right back, and we're struggling to get a centre back over six foot. Just play the, just play him at centre back. Oh, uh, is this the guy that left our club? No, no, yeah. actually, forget that because he was six seven. Never mind. I was just having a little uh, flashback though. Get down. He did have Sandberg in his name though. I remember that. Mm. Just look up Sandberg. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get George Lacaro, but I don't think I've got the money yet. It, it's pretty cheap, so uh, I'll put him on my short list. Super cool says 86 to 89. Wow. Guys, guys, you do know that I can't actually sign real players in this uh, series. Come on, I've um, kind of done six series of this. Uh, kind of youth squad legends thing. So get with the get with the program. You kind of know, mind you. In series one, I did sign real players. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. that's a series that's one off special, one special, mate. That set the foundations for what it's. That's that, that set the foundations. Is that and and without that formation, uh, without that series, we would not have the formation four two four or. Uh, Shea, Bo Shea McCartan and Scott and Bowden. Scott Damn legends. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a question for you two and the chat. And yeah. since since YSL is basically just looking, it's basically just looking forward to the future. It is and looking for the future. You've got that spot yeah. on. In real life, who do you think is the future of football? Who do you think is the next Ronaldo or the next Messi? Adrian. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, no. I'm gonna uh, say that the Leeds fan. Honest, honestly, the person that's like properly, I I do like watching, and he's very young. Uh, Julian Draxler. Yes. Very very good player there. Um. Oh my God, we've got another Maxime comes here. Oh. The exact same face. Well done, Curtis. You said it without laughing. I, I kind of I kind of grown into it. Let's be honest, it's been a day. I have like, a uh, video. You forgot to change oh. the uh, title, Cutsy. I'll forget that. It's still Cutsy versus Cast. Oh my fucking yeah, god. Yeah, boy, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be done in a bit. Uh, yeah, I've seen I've seen this guy as well, Mar Marius Blum, who's gonna be a good player when he gets old up, but we can't buy him yet, unfortunately. What's his last name? Uh, Marcus Blum. Blum. Hashtag that Blum. Yeah. Hashtag that Blum. There's, there's not a lot of great, like, defensive choices here. Gotta be honest. And all the proper defensive choices have already got teams. Which, yet again, not great. This guy's standing tackles good though. Oh, he's, he's got no. It's gonna be crap. He's actually gonna be crap, Curtis. 
Curtis. So. Can I link my new video? It's just gone live. You Tell can me to do fuck off. so. I guess. You legend. If it's FM, we're going by Moy Gomez and Lucas Romero. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Oh, if, Paderborn's if... got a right back. <laughs> Paderborn have actually got a pretty decent right back for League, League Two here. Eric <clears throat> Ma Malangu, South African. Would probably be the first South African youth squad legend player if we could if we could buy him. How much do you want for him? <laughs> I didn't actually check uh, if they're actually going ahead with the deal to uh, sign Hellquist, is it? Yep. yep. Oh, they are going ahead with the deal to sign Christian Hellquist mm -hmm. for £400,000. And that means that with eight days into this transfer window, we've actually done most of our dealings. Uh, Malangu would be available in the region of £180,000. That's South African from Bad Paderborn. Yes the or no? Should Paderborn we scout him? Yeah. Scout him. Get scout him for all of him. Yeah, at least, at least scout him. If he's, if he's over the overall of 60, because we don't really have that many wing bikes, if he's, if he's over the overall of 60, even though he's he actually will cost a bit, I'm still signing him because we need a wing bike and there's none in the free agents. Sir, I will, don't worry. <laughs> that, that sounds good? Does that sound good? Yeah, man. That sounds like a promise. Sounds like a this proper pro blah, blah, blah. A proper promise. <laughs> Yeah. Zonda should make a database of all nations where cell players have come from. Oof. Zonda will just shoot time. himself. Yeah. Ben, also, I think we've, he... got, we've got a final squad update. Oh, sorry, we've got a final scout update on Federico Emanuelo. That right back that we were talking about, he's a, he's a 69 already. Whoa. Jesus. He's That's going to be a very, very, very good player. Is he, he's, already, he's, he's already in my shortlist, so... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Okay, there's a centre-back here called Barry McEverly. Yet again, not very good, but he's a free agent. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, I, I can't... I can't... I can't scout him. So I'll just approach the sign. But I can't approach the sign because I don't have the wage. <clears throat> I don't really care. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to find him again, am I? Ay ay ay. Six one. I'm gonna have to sign him. I'm gonna have to sign anybody what can even has a sniff of a centre back. <laughs> That's where I struggled as well, man. You smell. You smell like a centre back. Get the fuck in. <laughs> <laughs> Who me? What? 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 Who's the office? Yeah, if your name is Barry McCleverly, yeah, yeah. Or where, whatever yeah, he was, whatever McCleverly his name is, now. McCleverly. <laughs> Anyway, player Sol Helquitz has gone to Birmingham City, so we've uh, we've released our first youth squad legend, even though kind of didn't have a face and he didn't have a soul. So it's not gingers that don't have souls; it's people with no <laughs> faces that don't have any souls. Well, that, yeah, okay. Yeah, I just, I just, I just no soul. I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything to say there, so I was like, oh, all right then, yeah, okay. Transfer offer for Dean Linus. Oh, he's a goal. Oh, he's a goalkeeper, right? And he's got. And they've offered more for this guy than actually he's valued at. So I'm going to accept because we've got two players from our youth academy that's just come come through, including Maxim Combs. 
I mean, I mean. Hello. I, 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 they're far more free agent players. <laughs> Final report Cass. on Eric, whatever his name is. Cass, do you want a game of FIFA 15? Not right now. Oh, Eric Malangu's only a 57. Oh. No. No. What a sad, sad day. He plays with Paderborn as well. He does, he does. What's his, um, is he likely to improve? Or what does it no. say when you click on him? I missed it. <laughs> probably, probably just says pretty shit. <laughs> Imagine probably does that. just say, yeah, it's Has pretty Has the potential shit. to be pretty shit. Pretty, pretty shit. <laughs> Player sold, That's Dean Linus has gone to Gillingham, and we've got uh, Barry McEverly. Not McCleverly, McEverly. So, so we've done alright, the transfer budget's good. McEverly's probably going to be... Oh, he's actually alright as a 57, so that's, that's not too bad. Yeah, actually, look up regens from Bayern. Just look at them. Probably sick. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Bingo, I've got it all sorted. Right, we play McEvely and Ondan, centre bikes. Then we've got Taft at left bike. And then Maxine comes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that Maxine comes. Stop saying it. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> just, just, just Maxine comes, mate. Who it's comes? Just, it, 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 Maxine comes though. Who comes? Maxine. Fair <laughs> I don't even know why it's so funny. It, because it's because of the Combs. name. It's so it it's so mean? hilarious. Imagine your name being comes. Maxime oh, the stuff comes. You comes, comes for the cross. <laughs> oh, the shit you can say, mate. In commentaries, man. Proper. Oh. Look at this kid. <laughs> oh, right. Add that guy to my shortlist. No, I'm never gonna sign him. But whatever. Set that. You see, this is the kid. This is the kid. What you'd like to buy? Don't have the money. Unless if I do, it's inquire. It's Fred Kauskas, whatever it's called. No, there's a centre bike coming up. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Scuff it. Come on, I scuff it. Oh, here we go. This is an idea. All right, Plamen Ivanov. Right, free agent, central defensive midfielder. Okay. Yet another cover for centre bike. Throw him in centre bike. Why not? Like Miles Smith did a job. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. And the and the next the next player that I need to buy, I need to buy a striker. Yeah, yeah, I, I need to buy a forward player. Attributes? Sorry? Are you looking at any specific attributes in the striker? Or? Uh, finishing. Finishing would be decent. Just, just finishing? Well, finish, finishing, then let's have a look at the other stats. Hmm. Maxime comes all over the six yard box. Comes makes the block. God damn. God damn, lads. Fucking Elvis a pow. Who makes that? Maxime comes is in a sticky situation. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All this coming. 
Right, the, f the first, the first decent. Oh, the Bolivian! I don't want to buy the Bolivian. Not wrong with Bolivians, but the last Bolivian that we had was well, Chavez. And Chavez, he's, but he's the only shit. decent. This is the only decent strike on the free agents. Chavez won a YSL award for being that shit. Oh God. Come on, lad, stop coming up with puns. What's up, Jay? And get a call, he'd be J-O. I knew it'd be J-O. That, that is just a typical J-O, like, pun. Of Chavez, yeah. Chavez was quality. I'm with you on that one. Get out. Chavez was shit. I love Ronald. We know. It, it just. It, no. <laughs> just no. No. <laughs> I mean, like, properly, no. Right, it's either going to be between Andrew Clark from York and Mohamed Bremer from Crew. So we'll add both to the shortlist. We'll inquire about both of them. And then I don't know what we've got to do to the scouts. And that's what we've got to do to the scouts. I'll recall a scout and then that's his opportunity to scout them. And uh, see what happens. Andrew Clark has recently joined York. Oh, both of them have recently joined. Oh my god. You know what that means? What? Unless I can find one in like League One that would like to come down, then we're gonna have to get him. As in him. As in the Bolivian. Ch Chavez 2. Chavez Yay! Regen. The Chavez Regen. Kill me. Come spilled it all over the box. Oh, Jesus. Actually, can you imagine that, like, during a match? Oh, Combs has spilled it. Oh, God damn. Combs is that's coming. Not, that's not right, man. That's not what you want to listen to. Here comes Combs. Oh, wait, no. Here comes Combs. Same thing. But you just think that the only Bolivian striker can only be better than Chavez. Yeah. It's a thought. It's a thought. I mean, it's a, it's a positive it thought. It is a thought that he might be just that bit better. Well, Liam Bovers recently joined Yeovil. Ivanov wants to come in. Oh, why have they all recently joined? God damn. I'm getting Ivanov, and it looks like I'm going to have to get that Bolivian. Uh, I cry. I cry every Tim. Oh. He's got. He's got to be better than Chavez, though, hasn't he? Please, yes. please, just please, please, please help me on this one. I'll say. I'll save a, a pretty penny by getting this free agent instead of actually signing one from somewhere else as well. So, I guess it might work. But then there's a lot of things that tell me that it's not going to work. And the biggest thing is that he's fucking Chavez too. Chavez was worse. Oh, shit. He had two great seasons in League One. He definitely didn't have two great seasons in League One though. He had two okay seasons in League One. And 
to be honest, he only scored a few goals. Like, there weren't a lot of goals. Ch Chavez defines youth squad legend, yeah. As I you define squad legend slim isn't man. Shit. What? Youth squad legends isn't shit. What's, Come what's, on. what's that? Where's that? Chavez, Chavez defines youth squad legends. Youth squad legends isn't shit. Ah, no, I get you. Took me a while, guys. Took me a while. Calm down. Yeah. It gives him a while, you know. Yeah. Give him a while. Get it eventually. I got there, though. I got there in the end. You did. Took you a while, but you got there. Okay, before, uh, before episode four as well. I'm going to give you guys a squad report, but I'm going to let my transfers come through first. Um, I think I'm going to get all my transfers done before the first game. So, that's that's a thing. Hashtag Chavez for YSL7 manager. It'll be Cums. It'll be manager for... Why I sell no, oh god damn, no. Do you think, do you We're think not, EA would Do you think EA would allow that? Probably not. Because mm. I mean, you're not even allowed to put like Scunthorpe in the um... Oh, because he couldn't, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, this, this season's gonna be difficult. I actually feel like... I feel your pain, mate. Surge Mango for YSL7. Surge Mango, yes! Might, might dip into my uh, old, like, historic, awesome players. Who was that? Who was that? I've just seen someone called Robert Draper, I think. Who's scouting where? Pretty shit. But this guy isn't. Oh my word, this guy isn't. Been at the club since 2016. It's 2016, isn't it? Yep. Oh! <laughs> Meh. Meh. Why, why are all the players, like, just coming in? Instead of, like, I don't know, being there for one season at least. He would be all right as well. Wherever he is, <coughs> Cos Cosmin Chindia, a Chindia, who plays for Leighton Orient. Good finishing on him. Baggy for YSL manager. That baggy, that baggy. Baggy, 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 baggy. It's gonna baggy, happen. Baggy. I can't believe I'm doing that. Fucking hell. Well. Fucking hell. Marvin Cardozo. The <sighs> exact same blueprint as Chavez. Has anyone got a gun? I yep. wish I did. <laughs> of course you do. What kind of gun? Right, we've only got five games. I mean, we've only got five days and then the first game of the season happens. We got monthly scouting updates. Italy ferry ship. In fact, I'll just remove this guy. And then in England, there's an 85. I'll leave the 85 for now, but the other one's gone. And then in Sweden, there's only an 85. I will leave him as well. Meh. Very, very poor season for scout. A very poor month for scouting, should I say? Contract offer acceptor for Marvin Cardozo. I nah. Oh, that's just happened, on it. Yeah. <sighs> All right, he's a sixty-one. 
So that that's okay. But it just depends on what he's like on the pitch. His weak foot's five star. And he's actually got the good work rates as well. So You never know. You, could, you, you could never be good. know. You could, could be actually good. be decent. But he could and be he could, shit. No, he could not be Chavez at all. And then he'll completely regain my faith in Bolivian players. So you're, you're, resting, you're resting your faith in Bolivian players? On this guy. On Cardozo, yes. On Cardozo. Yeah. Yeah. The look. Just, just yeah. 40 plus goals from... People are already predicting how many goals he's going to score. I'm glad they are. I'm, I'm glad they are doing... Guys, it is uh, it's coming close to the first games now. Could he play possession football? Play around with the player instructions. I will play. I'll get to that in the next episode. But for this episode, there's only one more job for me to do, and that's for me to do you guys a squad report. Yay! So. Are we ready for this? Yep. Great, great, great place to start. we got Maxine Combs, overall of 62. Leon Doe, overall of 63, gone up by one. Ondon is 52, gone up by one. This, this whole new, like, attributes lines thing, the grey lines are absolutely dreadful. Uh, Barry McEverly is a 57. George Taft, 60. Nabil Tronit, 62. Ross Emmanuel Thomas, 65. Joe Smith, 65. So at least we've got a very good midfield. Um, Alex McDonald, 62. Matt Chop, Matt Chop, Matt Chop, Matt Chop, Matt Chop, 67, got it by one. And we've got Marvin Cardoso, uh, 61. And his fi finishing is actually 63. So he should find the net. Should find the net. Okay. Ian Sharp's 58. Uh, Plamen Ivanov is a 58. Fernando Morello. 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 Fernando Morello. 61 centre mid. Kevin Aliuli. Aliuli. Ali Look, it's going to take forever for me to actually realise what these names pronounce like. So, I might properly murder them in the first couple of episodes. So, uh, Kevin Aliui, overall, of 59. And he hasn't gone up this season. we got Ali Ezat, overall of 61. Paul Jennings, overall of 63, gone up by one. Jose Faria, overall of 60. Alexander Rosenberg, overall of 61. James Stobbs, overall of 63, gone up by one. Isaac Curry, as overall of 49. And then we've got Marcus Harness at 48. Robbie Weir, 60. And the final one on the board, Sam Austin at 53. Done. Yeah. That is it for episode 3 of you Squad Legends Series 6 with Bert and Albion. Let me just take the final sip of this drink that's been with me throughout the whole entire what episode. What is it you drinking? Just uh, some orange dilute. And I'll tell you what else has been through the whole episode with me. These two guys who's been on the Sky Call. Mm. So, thank you to Cast. No problem. And thank you to Stu. No problem. And, uh, yeah, this has been Cutsy. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, this pre-season live stream of uh, coming into the first season, the first proper season, where we're actually going to play the games. And the first game we're going to play is away against Gillingham. So, I will see you then. Like I said, thanks for watching. If you, do, if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like. I can do that because I've got a webcam now. And I will see you <laughs> next time.